Hello, Dome Keepers! Welcome back, and there has been an adorable new update, everybody. The Caves and Critters, version 2.1, added four new caves. Added critters, small creatures roaming the mines. They could be disabled via options, okay. Why would we want to do that, though? Uh, shield can now be overcharged during battle. Oh, that's cool. Change how double laser affects movement speed and damage. Improved Assessor movement. Ah, okay. I wonder if, like, remember when I was playing Assessor, it felt like a little bit muddy, like when you were turning? Uh, smaller Assessor rebalances. Spheres reload a bit faster. Some upgrades are a bit cheaper. Rearrange some upgrades to access Sphere Split earlier. Deeper changes will come in a later update. Okay, and then there's some, some other things. I'm excited to jump in. It's been a little while since I've played. I don't know if it'll remember my run from last time. But I think I've decided to switch back to the laser dome with the assessor because I think there's just fewer things to upgrade. Might be a little bit easier. Cosmo Kitty, of course. Um, let's try the shield thing. Meh. Should we go back to shield repellent? Well, they, they buff shield, so maybe we'll give that a shot again. We'll do relic hunt on brutal. Let's go back to the large map just to check out the critters. So we'll have a lot of time down in the cave, but it won't be like impossible. And I apologize if I'm a little bit off today. I'm like still fighting off some kind of, it's not like a, a big a major illness, but something's going on. Kind of like a chest thing, chest cold thing. Bye. We could have been such good friends. All right, how do I play this game? <laughs> ah, okay, let's keep that there. Although, yeah, yeah we do, we do want, we want to keep that there. Where are the critters? I don't see any critters. Oh, that was probably a waste. <laughs> it's wild, like, how quickly you lose your touch for this game. Oh, cool. We're going to take it nice and easy, though. Have a good time. Wait, 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 wait. Are the critters on? Table seasonal content. Disable critters. Okay. Disable worm, bug, or spider-like critters that spawn in the mine as visual effects. Oh, it's just visual? Okay. All right. I thought they might have some kind of effect. Um... Looks like they've changed some of these icons, eh? They did mention that. Oh, there's the split spheres. Should we go down this path this time? I know I want. I said before that I wanted to uh, continue the teleporter. Let's get the teleporter thing, but maybe we'll just switch to the uh, sphere supply line this time. Eight seconds. It lowers reload time too. Sure, let's give it a shot. We'll get the proximity meter and health, sure. And we're pretty much out of time, so let's get going. It's nice to be back to this after playing some heavy games like Darkest Dungeon 2 and Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Um This one's a little more chill, wouldn't you guys say? Oh. That seemed to bounce around a little bit more. I wonder if uh, that was one of the adjustments that they made. Thank you. 
God, I love the music so much. By the way, I would uh, seriously vote for this game for a few of those uh, Steam Awards. In particular, I was thinking like the sound design is, is just tremendous. I, I haven't... I haven't looked at to see what the awards are, actually. I probably should have done that before saying that. But um, there's some really like great things to this game. Just the overall design, the simplicity with the complexity as well, and the replayability. The sound design in particular is really nice, and uh, the graphics just mesh so well with with what's going on. Also, I feel like the developers, they're a small team, but they've been really cool. And they've been uh, updating things pretty regularly and listening to community feedback really well also. Maybe I'm biased though, because they gave me some early uh, access to some stuff. That could, that could be why I feel that way also. But yeah, I'll definitely be voting for this. I'll have to do that uh, the next time I stream. I'll do my, I'll do my votes for uh, Steam Awards. It's always fun to do. I don't want to go down there. That's a heavy spot there. Eh? Let's um, let's go this way. Hmm. Need to go back. Did they add more details to the assessor too? Six and one. Okay, let's go with the uh, move speed. Oh, that's such a cool sound. I think they maybe changed the way that damage is shown too on the uh, meter there. Every time it gets hit, there's a little spike. Maybe I just ne never noticed it before and who's doing it like that. I just never realized it. Okay. I, I shouldn't be afraid to use the, uh, this feature. Actually, let's go, let's go up here. Save the balls. Oh, there's a little critter. There's a little mouse. Hey, old buddy, can I pick you up? Oh, <laughs> you're hiding. I would too. We're pretty scary looking. I don't blame you one bit. Let's go over here. Okay, well, I didn't really mean to do that. That's okay. Oh, four and two. We do hardening. Yeah, the sound design, I think, to me is the thing that, aside from like the gameplay and the, the look of the game and how well it matches, I mean, it's not like super high level AAA graphics or anything, but like for what they're trying to represent, it's freaking awesome. But the sound design is so, is so good. Because it's not only good from strictly the way, it, the way it sounds kind of perspective, but also it's good in terms of informing the player what's going on. Like you can, you could probably, Aside from like knowing where you're positioned, you could you could close your eyes and kind of figure out what's going on with the the stuff that you're using, like when it's ready to be shot, uh, your, when your balls are ready to be shot.
to when you're see so you know that um your resources are collected there with those little sounds it's very well thought out oops i screwed up oh that's cool i never really noticed that before or maybe i did but i forgot that uh when you have it connected, as long as you don't go too far away, it stays connected to you vertically and horizontally, even if it's blocked by some other squares. Is this that sound new too? Oh, and the heart's like kind of breaking gradually also. Neat. Very cool. I figure we might as well. Oh, I love how they have a little home. Hang out in. Just climbing on the walls and stuff. Awesome. No, 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 bounce back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can keep that wall there, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Get it on the way back. Oh, cool. Eight and six. I think it's probably worth it to get the power up. Well, we can intercept them. Yeah, they totally changed that animation. I love it. Two and six. Not really much we can do with that. We should probably get health next. No, we want to get this next. Oh, nice. Oh, another mousey! Okay, I have to hit B to, to grab it. But it's floating like that. Little mousy! Hmm. I feel like Drillbert's pretty good. Let's grab Drillbert. Drillbert's so cool. Is there a cooler animal in all of gaming? The answer's no. Uh, oh shoot, I should have grabbed that other iron. Oh, you have a repair if we need it. Let's use one. Ah! 
might have been able to survive. No big deal, though. And then what we can do is uh, dig vertically. To get old Drillbert set up. I wonder what happens if Drillbert sees the mouse? Scarlet Rye's coming over! Oh, there's two of them. They're both a plague. No, I'm gonna dig you out. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what happens if Drillbert comes across them. They probably just go and hide, right? Curious to know, you guys have probably played a lot more than me at this point. Uh, the assessor, which one, which path do you feel is better? A lot of water now. Do you guys prefer the uh, rebound or the um, sphere supply path? Oh, it's those guys that make that sound. Okay. To dig down this path. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, uh, I thought there'd be some kind of interaction. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'd love for Drillbird to be like afraid of the little mice. Or something. I think early on, definitely, I feel like early on having more of spheres is better. almost rather they put that bar that's in the bottom left just a, like above in the middle just below the the dome you know what i mean like i don't know why that's over in the bottom left kind of kind of makes it more difficult to see it while you're fighting maybe that's part of the challenge you have to be better at looking around Sure, that's a fun, fun kind of challenge, though. Oh, interesting. I shot those straight down, but they kept coming with me. Hmm. Yeah. Oops. Probably. Oh, it did have enough, enough juice to get up there. Oops. Yeah, it's okay. You can you can sleep a little bit. You've been working hard. 
Little Carl. It's Schilbert's middle name, by the way. Uh, I should probably do some of these upgrades. Like, do you like the Electroblast? But maybe just like power up shield. And then give basic conditioning. Like one repair. It's a different sound every time, too, eh? Slightly different pitch. Took a little bit of damage. Cosmo's not happy with us for not doing a great job destroying our computers. Let's cut, let's cut into here. Maybe there's something there. Uh, I don't think there can be, right? Okay, let's dig, dig down here. You want to eventually like keep going down so you have good walls to bounce off of. Once we get like too wide, the balls are less effective bouncing around. Unless you have the reflect. Unless you went down the reflect path. Get into the big guys. So I'm gonna want to get a laser upgrade or electro blast. We're gonna start taking a lot of damage. over here. He's like, I'm digging that. Luckless, why are you doing that to me? My favorite thing in the world to do. You're taking it away from me. Definitely have so much to learn. Let's take care of this lumber and hulk. Shoot. I don't know if I really did that optimally at all. So basically I took a well a well collected group of resources and just like threw them all over the place. This is why you want like walls to, to shoot these into every once in a while. Like a wall over there. 
Or have the bundles. They travel a little bit slower and you can control them better. Oh, shit. Let's just get these in there. And let's destroy this. It's been causing us nothing but issues. Mousy? It's still it's still um hard harder to turn, so I guess that part is by design. Make them different from uh from the engineer. Eight and six. I think I want um Electroblast, and then we'll get like an extra damage or something. Take a lot of damage here, guys. And we're out of Cobalt, so... But we have Electro Blast for next time. I wish I had had it for that round. So yeah, let's go, like... I kind of understand. Someone suggested doing like a stairwell kind of digging, and I think that makes sense. So you can use the walls for shooting the resources around. Like above us, if you have just an open path, you'll fly up forever and you can't really like catch them and redirect them to where you want them to go. And they'll fall really far too. Yeah. Make it more sense to me. I think I'm also going to need to upgrade our laser. Focus on the flying guys. Because of Electro Blast. We're doing okay digging wise, so I don't, yeah, I don't feel really like that's my priority right now. Yeah. Let's get these other resources up. We should probably check on Carl, actually, actually, before that. Probably sleeping on the job. See, like this one, I think I want to stagger this, right? Ooh. Oh, a little mushroom guy! Ha 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 ha! 
That's cute. Oh, there's some cobalt there. Okay, I gotta remember that. I'm so late. I'm so late. This is so bad. I don't have any cobalt. This might be the, this. Oh, this is probably the end. Okay, we need uh, power. Oh god. No! Ah, oh, well, it's a short one, guys. I'm gonna have to play more regularly. I'll do. I swear, I'll, I'll do some more videos more often, like maybe one every three days or something. Cause I love this game. We'll keep. Uh, we'll keep Trilbert for next time. This is Lucas Lovelock signing off on Dome Keeper for now. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. So close to 10,000 subscribers. It'd be so amazing if I could do it before the end of the year. I'll see you then, and I love you all. Jobert loves you too.